The defensive play section of the DC1 game screen is where your defensive calls will reside. It's divided into three columns, fronts, stunts and blitzes, and then coverages. All of the calls are in alphabetical order and they're actually put in in the defensive playbook. I will show you that as a reminder. When it's highlighted, that means that is the call that has been selected. So here we have Eagle now selected on defensive front. We can switch that around. Again, it's an unlimited amount of field. Taking a look at the stunt and blitz column, we can switch that around from Mike to Red Dog to Base. Uh, we can do that as well on the coverage side. It's a great idea to list a base in there or a no call if you don't have a stunt or blitz coming or you have a base front, base set, or base coverage. As a reminder, if you decide you're going to add an additional defensive call, you simply click on the playbook icon to the left hand side and go back to your playbook and then you can add defensive calls here. So we're going to add a twist. Maybe we see, saw an adjustment we needed to add. So we're going to do that, add it, save it, and now we'll go back into the game screen and you can see our new front has been added. Twist.